Yeah, so claims of harassment, intimidation, and bullying happening here at the vaccination site at the Cecil Community Center. This two-day pop-up clinic was supposed to be targeting residents living in the Chinatown and Kensington Market neighborhood and was clearly advertising first doses only. But organized tell me th organizers tell me things turned ugly when a large group of outsiders arrived, started demanding second doses, even though they were not eligible. They were threatening to me and to my staff, everybody. We were being uh, bullied and threatened the entire day. After three weeks of door knocking and nonstop community outreach, the Cecil Center here in the heart of Chinatown was transformed into a vaccination hub. The hotspot neighborhood had the city's lowest vaccination rate, and this week residents were showing up in droves to get their first shot. But on day two, I'm told the scene quickly shifted. Some very selfish people who uh, have a sense of entitlement decided that they wanted to get their second dose, regardless of whether anybody else had gotten a first dose. The community center's executive director tells me the parking lot across the street was quickly filling up with vehicles and says that's when the vaccine vultures began circling. You have to ask, is this your first dose? And when they said no, they said we're not giving second doses today. Then the barrage of insults and, and aggression began. And so that happened in the entire day. He says hundreds of people hunting down their first Pfizer booster were crowding the lineup, arguing with staff, even claiming reverse discrimination. All kinds of excuses that were being given yesterday uh, for why they needed to have uh, a second dose. At one point, organizers considered calling police but decided not to out of fear that they would scare away the people this clinic was intended for. Toronto Public Health says it does not tolerate harassment of any kind and told us in a statement second doses are only available to high risk health care workers, dialysis patients, and all First Nations, Inuit, and Metis individuals. In the end, though, this pop up clinic was a huge success, giving first doses to about 2,000 residents. What do you take away from this, and, and what message do you want to put out there? Well, the first thing I want to say is that the notion that we're all in this together is not true. What is slowing down that process is people trying to hog vaccines, and that just cannot be allowed to happen. Now, after knocking on doors and pulling people off the streets, exhausting all first dose options, I'm told that uh, 10 second doses were administered at the end of the day only because those vaccines had already been thawed and they couldn't go to waste.